everyone and uh, welcome back to the Western Centurion channel and today is Saturday the 16th of September and the time is just coming up to 2 p.m. and uh, well this video is as promised uh, in a, a few videos back um, about Dave Benton's um, mega points controller system and in particular the servo controller board um, because if you remember back uh, some videos ago when I was doing the uh, update videos or videos on me installing the servo controller boards uh, one of my concerns was the chattering that the servos do when they're idle well um, I emailed Dave and asked if there was a way of uh, stopping them from chattering and um, it was I suppose really it was John from Canal Siding so thank you John who mentioned about the software so that's what I emailed to Dave whether uh, the software could be changed or there's something added to the software to stop the chattering on the surveys and um, that pretty much followed within a <laughs> about an hour or so a phone call with Dave so we spent a good half an hour on the phone talking about it and um, Dave said yes that he could there is something you can do to the software um, but you know it when understandably after the phone call it, you know Dave's got a lot of other projects he's got going uh, on the go for the Megapoint controller system and this is pretty much something that will be put on the, the back boiler but to cut a long story short, three days later, including the postage time, I had a, um, a server controller board pop through the letterbox. And on this server controller board was some beta software. And uh, Dave asked me to try it out. And that's what I did. And boy, was I blown away. It, it absolutely out this world. So um, I... I've done some videos before doing this one, okay, well one video, and uh, it basically shows you the before and the after um, effects of using this um, uh, beta software. Um, so basically what, what I'll tell you before I show you the video is that when the servo is in operation, so you, you turn the servo, or sorry, you turn the points, the servo moves to the to the chosen position for the turnout, uh, but once that servo stopped, it's still being powered or it's getting, receiving a pulse all the time, and that, that's what causes the chattering. So what Dave's done in his beta version of the software is that once that servo has moved to its final position, it stops sending the pulse. So there's, in other words, there's no power to that servo anymore, and that's why it's quiet um, and one of the other concerns of doing that to, of by by stopping the power going to the servo is the fact that you can then move it by hand so if that that little um, actuator arm you, you could get your finger and you can move it to any position you want so the concern was was that maybe the the points would move you could move the point and the servo would move uh, so I tried that and it doesn't the turnout will just spring straight back into the position it was because the piano wire actually bends and the servo arm doesn't move so that is an absolutely wonderful result and uh, in this video coming up you'll, you'll be able to see that okay um, but I really got to say one a big thank you to John Canal Sidings for um, prompting that idea into my head and obviously, obviously today for coming up with a solution so quickly three days let's say from the phone call getting the, the board uh, the beta software done board in the post and to my house in three days Abs absolutely brilliant so to me that shows that that Dave is listening to us because um, I'm pretty certain I'm, I know I wasn't the only one who, who, who said to him about the chattering on the servos and um, <laughs> Every time I talk to Dave, I really do get overwhelmed by his, by his enthusiasm and excitement in what he's doing. And 
he's got so many other projects on the go at the moment, um, which are just just outstanding. And you all know how much I like to embrace um, technology, and, and one of the reasons why I want to put or use technology on the layout is something my dad would have loved. And we can't forget that's why I'm I'm trying to do all this is basically in memory of my father. And um, yeah, Dave's enthusiasm really is catching. Every time I talk to him, I, I catch the bug as well. And what he's done with this beta version of the software is, is absolutely amazing and a really big step forward. Um, that's all I can say about it at the moment, all right, because it is still just a beta version of the software. Uh, Dave will be coming out with an announcement maybe in the next week or so, all right. Um, so as, as soon as I hear that announcement, I'll make another video uh, so that you lot can, or just to let you all know that an announcement's been made. I'll put in the uh, uh, description for this video, I'll give you a link to his website. Okay, and to his YouTube channel if you want to go and subscribe and uh, get the update yourself. All right, so anyway, enough of me. And what we'll do, we'll get and listen to those servos, the before and the after. All right, uh, thank you very much for joining me. You have a lovely weekend, and I will catch you again next weekend. Okay, so bye bye, everyone. See you soon. Okay, so here we are. We have all the boards in place um, and the three relay boards. And you'll notice that these two uh, green LEDs here on the DCC adapter board are pulsing. And um, that's just indicating to us that there is DCC power coming to the board, um, but there is no DC power coming to the these other two boards here. All right, so when all of this is dead, and we've only got power coming to the DCC board, these two green LEDs will uh, pulse. So what I'll do now, I'll provide power to these uh, two boards and to the three relay boards. Right, so these are now fired up. We've got a single pulsing green light on the DCC adapter board and the relays have come to life as well. And uh, if you listen, you'll be able to hear the um, relays chattering to themselves. So let me get the camera off and we'll get a bit closer. Okay, right, so that was the, uh, the relays, just having a little mumble to each other, I'll get the camera back on the tripod, and what we'll do is try and remedy that, alright, so on this board is the new uh, beta software version, so what I need to do now is to turn off the 12 volt DC power supply to the servo controller board, which I'm going to do now. We'll wait for all the LEDs to go out, and they have. So what we need to do now is that we have the low button, the program button, the high button, and the mode button. So what we need to do is press the high button and the mode button, the two buttons on the far right. There, they're pressed in place, and turn the power back on. Power's on, these lights should all flash. And they are, and then we've got two pulses of yellow, and then to a steady pulse. Relays have come on. Uh, that means all the servos are now back in their correct position. But more importantly, 
Listen. I'll take the camera off, okay? And we'll get down to the turnouts. very quiet because I think those servos have gone to bed and they're fast asleep and we don't want to wake them up. Not a dicky bird out of them. It is so quiet down here in the garage now. What an awesome result. See, everything's still active here. All the boards are powered up. But not a sound from the servos. And one of the things that um, what I've been worried about was the fact when we aren't sending pulses to the servos, you can turn them by hand and they will move. And one of the concerns was would that mean that the uh, would the turnouts turn or move if you actually knock them? Would they go out of position? So if I show you here, if I push this, look, it goes back to the position you don't actually turn the servo arm. So I'm pleased to say that the turnouts, once the servos are silenced, the turnouts will not change position, even if you knock them. See, just spring straight back again. To say that I'm over the moon with this is, is an understatement. Because this really is fabulous and, and such a big step forward for the uh, Megapoint uh, controller system. Um, I'm, I am absolutely blown away how quiet it is here in the garage. Even before I started to make this video, I had to take the clock off the wall and put it in the cupboard so we couldn't hear it, because that was the only thing you could hear. So yeah, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Dave has come up with a blinder of a solution for us all who want to carry on using the uh, Megapoint controller system because it really really is fabulous and for me it does exactly what I want it to do Couldn't be more happier All right, so um, well I'll leave it at that for now and uh, <laughs> You all have a great weekend and hopefully I'll see you next weekend. Okay Bye-bye